What's your favorite holiday? Why? How long you been celebrating it? What do you do? What's the traditions? Who all participates? What happens when they don't? <laughs> I know, I'm a little bit ridiculous, but hey, why not? Listen, I, y'all got to understand I am a nut. I really believe that there's something unique about you that needs to be on this planet. So, I keep pulling and tugging for it. Question. Why in the heckity heck do you keep celebrating the same holidays over and over? Like, seriously, why? Who made it up? Mm -hmm. Maybe your religion. Okay. Maybe some random dude named Valentine. Eh. <laughs> do you realize somebody made this stuff up two, three, four, seven, six, seven hundred, seventeen hundred years ago? And we still celebrate it. We don't know why they started it. We can say we do, but we weren't there. We don't really know why. I mean, take for example, did you know that the diamond ring was uh, made up? Like it's not even the strongest stone, but some dude with some money decided, I'm gonna make this. Wait, we have access to a lot of diamonds? Okay, great. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna market it in such a way that people are gonna think it's the hottest thing on the planet. Yet we're gonna get it for cheap. Hence the diamond. And now every woman on the planet wants a diamond. Oh, I gotta have a big rock. How big the rock is, it tells me how much I'm loved. Oh, oh, oh. Which is deeply rooted in women's need to compete. Nothing to do with value, nothing to do with the man, just their need to brag. That's a different conversation though. But no, seriously, did you know that was the kind of the story of the diamond? Like someone just decided. See, what gets me is that I, I'm tired of celebrating the same holidays. Why, does some, why doesn't someone invent something new? Why not you? Why aren't you creating new traditions for your family that has nothing to do with what's been given to us? It makes no sense that we are out here celebrating Sweetest Day. Oh, by the way, I love love. So for those of you who think I have no love, well, sorry. But someone like made up Sweetest Day in the last 15, 20 years. And we're like, Sweetest Day, you got to do something. What? What? Are we that shallow? The answer is yes, we are. Shake your head. Yes, we are. We want to fight and say we are not, but we keep doing whatever somebody popular says is now the thing, and that's why we do what they do, because we don't have a mind of our own that we actively use as a result of not doing that, not actively using it and thinking. We follow whatever the latest trend is, and then we do things like put pressure on other people to show up for us because somebody else invented something that wasn't even real, but they invented it because they had a good marketing scheme, and now you bought into it, and they have to suffer from your wrath if they don't comply. Listen, I am the messenger. I am the messenger. We've got to do better. This is your life. What do you want to leave behind? What do you want to enjoy while you're here? Why don't you cultivate something, your own ingenuity? Aren't you worthy of that? I mean, think about it. We're still celebrating the vintage architecture from eons ago. This is why I love that Dubai exists. I'm tired of seeing old people's names on buildings and we don't have the same. Why not? Why are we always celebrating somebody else's success or someone else's imposed limitations on us or, excuse me, imposed celebrations on us? Why don't you create your own? Why don't you turn it up a notch, make it sexy, make it fancy? Why don't you go buy a building and put your name on it? See, there are things inside of you that get limited by the things that are around you, and I'm trying to just get you to look outside of it. And traditions are one of the easiest ways that you can start trying something new. I have one. When I get married again, before I get married, I'm going to tell my woman, look, here's the deal. Now, I know that at the surface level, this might be a challenge, but I'm hoping to find a woman that's a deep thinker who has her own sense of identity and who she is. And she's not moved by the outward things as long as she's getting what she needs internally. Hmm. Mouthful.
But what I'm referring to is let's just take Valentine's Day, for example. Now, I don't have a problem with Valentine's Day. It was just invented by some dude named St. Valentine who I forgot the whole story right now, and basically he made it up. I don't want my woman to live in a world where she's always looking for something at Valentine's Day. I just don't. Now, I know you women who are complaining right now, you're only complaining because it's appealing to your competitive ego nature. That's all. You talk about men? Nah. This is appealing to your competitive ego nature as a woman so you can go compare what you got to somebody else. See how they express love to me? How they express love to you? This is what I'm talking about. This is the lowest level of who we get to be in this life, and I'm sick of living here. There's so much more up here where we can live and create and cultivate and stimulate and invent ourselves, but we're so bothered with the non-thinking stress of just doing what somebody else says do, including Valentine's Day. I want it to be where it's like, okay, babe, here's the deal. We don't Saint Valentine, celebrate Valentine's Day. Skip Saint Valentine. I want to say Saint Nick so bad. Skip Saint Valentine, but here's what we'll do. We will live a life where we are regularly expressing love. I mean, I thought that's what date night was about, right? If you're already having date night, why do you also need Valentine's Day? Come on, man. I need more chocolate. Many of you know you do not need any more chocolate. I'm just being honest. You, many of you don't need more gifts. How many of you got clothes in the closet with tags still on them? Go ahead and laugh. It's okay. But that shows excess and, unnecess and necessities that don't exist. I'm not judging you for having I'm just saying think about it. Why? What's the point? So instead of celebrating Valentine's, here's what we'll do. How about we celebrate February 15th and 16th? So then what we'll do is instead of paying the exorbitant prices to get into high-end restaurants, what we'll do is wait to even the 16th or 17th when fresh food is in. Mm -hmm. When all the fresh food is in, and then we'll go on a special date. I'll buy you flowers because the prices will have come down, and they'll still be fresh, and they'll be wanting to get rid of them. I'll buy you even more flowers. You'll get more in quantity. And we, I'll buy you chocolate because the chocolate's going to be on sale too. And it's going to say, be my valentine. But we'll sit there with our large savings. You see, many of you think I'm being cheap. Oh, man. I'm trying to go deeper. I'm trying to go deeper than that mess. We'll leave our savings that we have. We'll take a trip. We'll take a trip somewhere. We'll put some property, land, uh, we'll put down a down payment on some property or buy some land. Or we'll go buy some Bitcoin with the money we save and continue to build our future and laugh all the way to the bank. Laugh all the way to our next vacation because we didn't get caught in the mainstream hype that's simply designed to take from us, distract us, and do whatever it is they want to do. The opportunities are so vast. The world is so big. But we're just not used to thinking about the reality that we can create the futures we really want to live in. We're so used to just doing what's given to us. I'm trying to invite you to a brand new world, a whole new world of creativity where you get to create this dream world. And if your dream world is based upon the things that already exist in this world, that's not a dream. Sorry, let me just break it to you. If you've grown up your whole life and all you wanted was amazing Valentine's days, I have a phrase, dream again, please. I'm begging you, your spouse is begging you, your partner's begging you, it's old. It's played. It's not creative. How many different ways can you slice a Valentine's cake or whatever it is that you want your man to do? Instead, man or woman, forgive me. Instead, go create something new. Go create something beautiful. It's possible. This is your world. I can't wait to hear what you create. Peace. One more thing. Don't forget to subscribe to the VIP channel below. There's goodies out here for you. Come join the free VIP group where we talk about this kind of stuff and go deeper and I take you further along so that you can have the kind of future you really want. And it's free. Meanwhile, subscribe, like, comment below, and share this with somebody you love. Peace.